Hannah, your film, Don't Make Me Go, uh, it, essentially it's a uh, US road movie. And yeah, I found out that it's been filmed in New Zealand. Uh, so uh, it, that seems to be quite an unusual thing to film over there and uh, must have been problematic as well, it, especially in mind that it is a road movie and they drive a, on a different side of the road to yourself. Yes, it was a challenge. It definitely was a challenge. But with all challenges, there are benefits. There's pros and cons, of course, and a lot of blessings along the way. Uh, for example, there were zero cases of COVID when we were there. So it felt very, very safe. So after we got out of quarantine, we, we knew we were in safe hands, uh, and that's invaluable. But it, it was an unusual way to go about an American road trip movie, especially because it's summer in the movie and we were in New Zealand's winter. Uh, so there are a lot of uh, uh, difficult aspects of it, but we also had a wonderful local cast and crew who were incredibly supportive and dedicated and committed to helping us make it look like America. So you've got Mia Isaac uh, cast in your lead role as the daughter, Wally. She's absolutely great. She's really, really good in this. But I understand that you carried out a nationwide uh, talent hunt for her rather than a uh, I guess a kind of like a formal audition process. What was the thought process between behind going, you know, nationwide? Well, Wally is just such a special role, and it takes a really unique girl to be able to fill that role, and a girl that needs to be able to match John Cho as well. Um, so it was a lot of auditioning, a lot of tapes from all over the country, and we had a terrific casting director named Leslie Wu, who had seen me at an audition audition before and thought she could be right for this and uh once i saw mia's tape i was just completely in love with her she's a really brilliant actress and it was her her first movie well i understand that as well that uh you started shooting uh the first day of shooting for her uh was on her birthday so yeah that must have been um quite a first day uh you know both, both being her birthday and having to work on it as well Oh, it's a pretty good birthday present, getting a lead role in a movie and getting to be in New Zealand. <laughs> so, yes, she had to work, but it was also really special. Big birthday cake from Craft Services then. Oh, yeah. So um, you've also got Jermaine Clement in the film. Uh, now, best known from Flight of the Concords and his uh, comedic roles, uh, this seems a, a, an unusual piece of casting. Uh, what was the thought process behind casting someone like that in what is ostensibly a, a straight and straight uh, dramatic role? Yeah, uh, I think Jermaine is just so gifted as an actor and a scene partner. And it, I believed that he could have this kind of rivalry with, with John. They're the same age and um, it feels like they have wildly different vibes, but yet they could exist in the same movie. Uh, but just on... Uh, from a practical standpoint, uh, Jermaine's a friend of mine and we were filming in New Zealand and he's a terrific actor and I'm a big Flight of the Concords fan. So I just asked that he do it and prayed because he's so good and he's good in everything. And I think he really brought some some personality to the role. With, uh, with his background being in comedy, uh, was there ever the, the uh, moment where he kind of went to improv or started making it more comic than intended? Definitely. And in the early cuts of the movie, that was all there. Um, but we did decide to go for a little bit more of a restrained, pulled back version, uh, even though my instincts as a filmmaker originally was to kind of make it the Jermaine Clement show because he's he's just so fun. But uh, you got to serve the story first. So finally, we always ask uh, uh, all, all our directors and um, actresses that we interview this, um, as well as directing, you have quite a prolific career as a as an actress as well, uh, and like a you know really prolific career. It's really impressive, um, and you. I'm just wondering uh, with so much so many roles uh, that you've done over the uh, years, is there one role that you look back on that you regret turning down? Oh, regret turning down? I don't think I've turned down anything. I'm like, I take the jobs where I can get them. I always grew up. It's like. You know, you audition for something. If you're lucky enough to get a callback grade, if you're lucky enough to book it, that's incredible. Um, you know, I, I was never going to turn down a, a paycheck. Uh, I'm just not that that type of actor. So uh, if I've turned down anything, it's probably because it was 
you know, way too sexual or sketchy or something. <laughs> Well, thanks for your, your uh, time, Hannah. I uh, really enjoyed the film. Uh, very much looking forward to your future uh, work, both as an actress and especially as, actually as a director. Oh, thank you so much.